raw food diet, pros, cons, and how it works. What is a raw food diet? The raw food diet is based on the belief that uncooked and unprocessed food can help you to achieve better health and prevent diseases like heart disease and cancer. Proponents of the raw food diet claim that cooking breaks down the enzymes in uncooked or live food, which aid in the digestion and absorption of nutrients. What experts say. The raw food diet encourages people to eat only raw, never heated, unprocessed foods. While eating more produce is advantageous, experts say there's no reason to avoid cooking it. This diet may put people at risk for food-borne illness if raw meat and dairy are consumed. The raw food diet has roots as far back as the late 1800s when a doctor believed he cured his own case of jaundice by eating raw apples. The diet has evolved into its current form though it has waxed and waned in popularity. People sometimes shift from a vegetarian diet to a vegan diet, then to a raw food diet. How it works. Typically, about 70% or more of the diet consists of raw food. Staples of the raw food diet are fruits, vegetables, sea vegetables, nuts, seeds, sprouted grains, and beans. Gently heating food is considered acceptable, the temperature just cannot go above 118 degrees Fahrenheit. While most people who are on a raw food diet plan are vegan, some eat raw animal products, like raw milk, cheese made from raw milk, or raw fish or meat. What to eat? Foods like fresh fruits and vegetables are easy to identify as raw. Other ingredients, such as nut butter, agave nectar, almond milk, olive oil, soy sauce, and cocoa, aren't always raw. You may need to read labels and take the time to find brands that pass muster on a raw food diet. Foods that have the words roasted, dry roasted, toasted, cooked, or baked on the label are not raw. Neither are canned foods. Compliant foods. Whole, unprocessed foods. Organic fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Sprouted or germinated beans and grains. Recipes prepared from raw ingredients. Non-compliant foods. Foods heated above 118 degrees F. Refined, processed, or pasteurized foods. Foods treated with pesticides. Caffeine. Vegetables. You can use vegetables in salads, smoothies, blended dressings, and soups. It's also possible to pickle your veggies or make them into noodles. Frozen vegetables that have been blanched or boiled before being frozen are not considered raw. You can also look for sea vegetables, such as arami, dulse, kelp, wakame, and unroasted nori sheets. Fruits. Fruit can be eaten whole, dried, dehydrated, or used in juices or smoothies. Frozen fruit is considered raw. Superfoods such as raw cacao powder, cacao nibs, carob powder, and goji berries are all permitted on a raw food diet. Nuts and seeds. Look for raw and preferably organic nuts and seeds. They are easy additions to smoothies, pesto, butter, non-dairy milk, cheeses, gravy, cream, and ice cream. You can also use a dehydrator to make raw chia or flax seed crackers. Grains. Whole grains, such as millet, buckwheat groats, camet, quinoa, oats, wheat germ, spelt, and wild rice are all permitted on the raw food diet but need to be germinated or sprouted. Beans and legumes. Some raw beans, such as chickpeas, adzuki beans, mung beans, and lentils can be eaten after they have been soaked and sprouted. Others, such as kidney, soy, and fava beans, are considered unsafe to eat raw. Fats. Raw sources of fat include avocados, raw coconut oil and butter, cold-pressed, extra virgin olive oil, chia oil, raw flaxseed oil, and raw hemp seed oil. Beverages. Aside from purified water, raw foodists drink barley grass juice, vegetable or fruit juice, freshly squeezed or frozen, unpasteurized, young coconut water, and wheatgrass juice. Caffeine is not permitted, which means black or green tea and coffee are excluded from the diet. Herbal tea, even if it's made with water heated to less than 118 F, is not considered raw because the leaves are usually heated during the manufacturing process. Fermented foods. Foods produced by fermentation are permitted on the raw food diet. These could include coconut kefir and yogurt, kimchi, miso paste, and sauerkraut. Herbs, spices, and condiments. While table salt is not permitted on the raw food diet, Himalayan salt and Celtic sea salt is allowed, along with other seasonings like apple cider vinegar. Basil. Bragg's liquid aminos. Cayenne. Chives. Chocolate, raw. 
cinnamon, ground, cumin, ground or seeds, curries, dill, ginger root, nama shoyu, raw soy sauce, parsley, vanilla beans, raw, vinegar, sweeteners. Most sweeteners are processed and not truly raw, but the following are permitted. Coconut nectar, date sugar, mesquite powder, raw agave nectar, raw honey, stevia powder, yakin syrup. Recommended timing. There are no particular guidelines for when to eat on this diet. It is low in calories, which means you might want to eat more often. However, since it is full of filling high fiber foods, you may not feel as hungry. Pros and cons. Pros. Whole, nutritious ingredients. The raw food diet is lower in calories and sugar than the standard American diet. It is also higher in potassium, magnesium, folate, fiber, vitamin A, and antioxidants. The fiber in the diet may help keep you feeling full and prevent constipation. Some proponents of the diet say that it may reduce inflammation because of the antioxidants in plant foods and fewer advanced glycation end products in uncooked food. Low in saturated fats and sodium. The diet is also lower in sodium and saturated fat than a standard diet, because table salt, processed foods, and, usually, meats are excluded. Effective for weight loss. This diet is very low calorie and will almost certainly promote weight loss. However, it is often too effective and followers end up underweight. A study in 1999 examined the relationship between long-term raw food diets and body weight. The study found that body mass index BMI was below the normal weight range in 14.7% of men and 25% of women. Approximately 30% of the women under the age of 45 years had partial to complete amenorrhea, the absence of menstrual periods, particularly those eating 90% or more raw foods. These findings highlighted one of the drawbacks to the raw food diet, which tends to outweigh the positives. Cons. Too restrictive. Overall, this diet is very low in calories. And some foods are actually less nutritious when they're uncooked. Some foods become more digestible after cooking because the fibrous portion is broken down. For instance, cooked tomatoes contain three to four times more lycopene than raw tomatoes. The levels of a compound in broccoli called sulforaphane are maximized when the broccoli is steamed at 140 degrees F. Nutrient deficiencies. One of the main concerns people have with the raw food diet is the risk of nutritional deficiencies, such as vitamin B12, vitamin D, iron, zinc, and omega-3 fatty acids.6. Foodborne illness. Cooking helps kill harmful bacteria, so eating raw foods increases the risk of foodborne illnesses.1 This is especially true in people on a raw diet who eat raw fish, eggs, or meat, or unpasteurized milk or other dairy products. Fruits and vegetables can also carry bacteria. A few, such as taro and rhubarb, are toxic if consumed raw. Impractical. It might seem easy to eat nothing but uncooked foods, but in fact, it takes a good deal of time and effort to prepare foods so that they can be safely eaten raw. It can also be expensive to purchase only whole and organic foods. How it compares to other diets. The raw food diet is a unique eating plan, but it shares some characteristics with other plant-based diets. In terms of macronutrient proportions, the amounts of carbohydrates, protein, and fat, the diet falls within USDA guidelines. Getting more fruits, vegetables, and other plant foods into our diets may protect against certain diseases, while most of us could benefit from eating a more plant-based diet, adhering to a 70% or more raw food diet requires a lot of effort. It can also have some serious drawbacks and risks. If you are thinking of trying the diet, consult your healthcare provider to see if it is the right eating plan for you. We thank you so much for watching. If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to share with your friends. For more nutrition, health and beauty tips, subscribe to our channel.